Hey everybody, it's Richard from Anvil Works. We're going to do the Ask Richard Walsh answer to the question we had last week, and our winner was Carrie Sargent. Her question was, <coughs> excuse me, how does our bodies know the difference between sugar from an apple or sugar from a cookie? Does the body process use the sugars differently? Well, Carrie, this is a fantastic question. Thanks so much for asking. I mean, it really is a good question. Very, very, uh, very good. Okay, let's just start with yes. They, they do process them differently, okay? An apple, for instance, is broken down into fructose and glucose, okay? So it being a whole food, the body recognizes it, and it's released slowly into the bloodstream where insulin can be secreted to handle it. Now, take refined sugars, such as a high fructose corn syrup, okay? That, and that may be in your cookie, high fructose corn syrup, but that has unbound fructose and glucose, Okay, so the body doesn't even need to break that down. So it's absorbed directly into your liver, where it's then instantly converted into fat. Not fuel, but fat. Okay, so though fructose in an apple, okay, is the primary sugar, okay, is it, so what I'm saying is if heavy fruit consumption is not the same as heavy sugar consumption. Okay, your body likes natural fructose from fruit. It doesn't like refined sugars. Okay, unnatural sugars, all right? So let me, let me just read this to you. <clears throat> I wrote this down so I didn't mess it up. But the refined fructose, sugar, fructose, high, corn, high fructose corn syrup, tricks your body into gaining weight. Okay, and this is how it does it. It turns off the appetite control system because it doesn't properly stimulate insulin. All right, so this results in a lack of suppression of ghrelin, which is your hunger hormone, and then... Uh, it causes a disconnect with leptin, which is your fullness hormone. Now, these factors work together, and what happens is it allows you to eat even more, and that starts to um, create insulin resistance, which is, the, which is the next step towards diabetes. All right, so <clears throat> when you eat an apple, you know, 30 minutes later, you're not craving another apple. It just doesn't happen, okay, like you do with cookies or other, th other refined sugar products, okay? Eating apples is not addictive, where high fructose corn syrup and other refined sugars absolutely are addictive. Okay, I'll give you a quick little history lesson. 300 years, go back to the 18th century. Uh, the average individual in a year's time would consume less than five pounds of sugar in that year. In the 19th century, there were less than 20 pounds a year. In the 20th century, it jumped to 90 pounds a year on average for a person to consume sugar in a year. In the 21st century, it's at 180 pounds a year. Okay, we're talking, it's 2015. We're 15 years into the 21st century. We've already doubled our consumption of sugar. So if you take that track, you're looking at what, 2060? And everyone's 100% sugar. All right, I mean, that's unbelievable. All right, so just, just know that refined sugars are the devil. Okay, they really are bad. I mean, they, they do everything from causing cancer to diabetes, and most people know, but you need to be aware of sugars in your diet. Uh, again, natural sugar is okay. The refined, which is most of everything that people eat, is not okay. So thanks again for that question, Carrie. Just fantastic question. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you liked the video, hit like on this. This is good. Also, subscribe to our channel at Amworks. Also, if you have other questions, you know, that every other Monday we're going to ask, you know, the Ask Richard Walsh questions. Ask a fitness or health question. I love answering these, having a really good time with it. So get those questions out there. It doesn't matter what it is. Whoever gets the most likes, I'll answer that question. <clears throat> so again, please, uh, please chime in. Love to hear from you. Make it a great day.